How's it going, everybody? I'm Chris Kiefer with racerxonline.com. Thank you for visiting our channel. And look at here, something a little bit different today. Husqvarna e-bikes. That's right, two models a day, hard cross and mountain cross. I got Andy Jefferson here from Husqvarna Media Relations. And tell us a little bit about these e-bikes. Not a lot of people know that Husqvarna makes these bicycles. Um, I recently had a knee surgery, so I have some uh, time on e-bikes lately. It's kind of been helping my therapy. So to me, it comes at a perfect time. So we're going to go out and ride these things right now. But before we do, give us an overview of this model and the other model we're about to ride. And, of course, Steve Mathis is here, e-bike god. But, Andy, uh, go over this bike with us. So what we have now is uh, this is new for us, obviously, as you guys would know. These bikes have been around in Europe a little bit. But now they're, they're here in the U.S. They're available at um, a few, let's say a few, Husqvarna e-bike dealers. So um, you would go to find them. First of all, you'd go on to the Husqvarna e-bike website, which there is a Husqvarna e-bike website. Get the dealer locator and then find a dealer in your area that has one. And the difference between the bikes is really basically travel. One's a 180, one's a 150 travel. Um, but they, the, the things about it that are really cool is they have great components. Our bikes are all spec with the top of the line components in the business, depending on the model you get. All right, so today we're gonna ride the HC7 and then you have the MC7. So there is a little bit of differences between the two. Steve and I are gonna go back and forth on each. So Andy, rip us off a couple of the differences here that we're about to ride in right now. The main difference between these bikes is the HC7 has 180 travel and the MC7 has a 150 travel. So it's uh, they, you know a mountain and then you have an enduro bike. So, and then on top of that, we have suspension differences. The uh, HC7 comes with rock shocks, front and rear on the shock and the fork. And then the MC7 comes with a 36 uh, Fox shock and then the uh, DP2 Fox on the rear. And then it has a 29 inch front wheel. The uh, HC has a 27.5, both front and rear. So this one's more mullet, uh, 29er front, 27.5 in the back. All right, so you got the breakdown of these two bikes. Again, I am not an expert in this field at all. I am your newbie guy. I'm your average guy just going to go ride for fun, what we call soul rider over here. We have the pro, Steve Mathis. He's going to walk us through all of these bikes because, listen, he puts in thousands of miles a year. And he is a perfect example of what these bikes can do to get you off your behind, lose some weight, get some motivation. And uh, he's been doing that for several years now, and that started with an e-bike. So... Uh, we're going to go out and pedal these things right now, and we'll get back to you and uh, give you guys some information on what these things are about. All right, we are back from our ride in the lovely high des. Uh, fairly good ride today, did about 15 miles. The HC7 as well as the mountain cross here. So um, for us right now, I am not your typical e-bike person. I'm not gonna break these bikes apart. I have the expert right next to me, right here, Steve Mathis, e-bike extraordinaire. Take it away, Steven. Thanks, Chris. Yeah, I really enjoyed the ride today, it was fun. High des life, uh, we saw a car. We saw a guy in a tent. We may have saw a cougar out there. 
We saw washing machines. It was it was an awesome ride. We saw everything. We went over a car at one point. But uh, the new Husqvarna e-bikes are here, and I like them, man. They look the Shimano EP8 motor. Uh, is a huge gain over the older Shimano motor. And both of these have the EP8 motor. And that's a massive uh, difference, Chris. I-, I felt like from the older bikes that had the other Shimano motors. Like, what do you call it? Like, the Shimano motor, like, I feel like it has more, when every time you crank, it has more bottom in. I guess that's what you call it. Yeah, it's just more Newton meters. So uh, both bikes were really good. I spent most of my time on the hard cross. Uh, Chris, you spent most of time on, the, on this one here, the mountain. And um, for the prices, I feel like the components are good. You get that motor that I talked about. This one is a medium. This one was a large. So there's a little different frame size in them. And I, truthfully, I'm six feet tall. I can kind of go between both. I saw I saw some good and some bad about both of the frame sizes to me. Uh, suspension was great. It was set up for my weight and, and or speed. Um, and I really like the inter- integration of the uh, of the Shimano dashboards, the Shimano uh, on-off button for the EP8 motor, and I love the seats. Husqvarna e-bike seats were really comfy. Yeah, so I'm used to my intense Taser, and it's a little bit of a harder seat, and I haven't been riding that much, so it's a little bit tougher on my rear end. This is a little bit softer, more forgiving. Like Steve said, I do like having that on-off switch right in front of me on the down tube of the frame instead of having to reach underneath. It's a little bit more convenient. Um, I wish it had a little bit more of a of a flexi bar. It was kind of stiff, but overall the ride was really good. I don't know enough about mountain bikes to kind of tell the difference, but when I hop on this thing, I have fun. It's easy to shift, um, has more than enough power. And uh, as of right now, like I said, been getting over a knee injury. So getting out on an e-bike, helps me with my program getting loosened up and get me back on my dirt bike. Look, we know how great e-bikes are. I don't got to go on and on about them. But uh, this hard cross one has a bit more travel than this mountain one does. And I noticed that, you know, it definitely was plusher. This was a medium frame. So for me, I felt like the, this hard cross was underneath me more. And it was, it was able to move easier and kind of soak up the bumps. And again, it has 30 millimeters more uh, travel in the back and bigger in the front too. So for me, this one was maybe a bit, if you ride more... Um, um, bigger stuff, uh, bigger jumps, bigger uh, downhills. I think you'd go with the hard cross one. Yeah, we were out there ta- on the trail talking, and you, you normally ride a large frame, and this was a medium frame, and you said, oh, it feels kind of small, but then by the end of the ride, you kind of like, oh, I kind of like that. I might want to try one. Yeah, I think uh, I might, uh, you know, I work with the guys at Intense. I might try a medium frame uh, because, like I said, I'm right in that middle of that range between a medium and a large, and this Husqvarna hard cross one, uh, really good. I like the size of the battery also. It's got a bigger battery than some than a lot of bikes that have the Shimano motor. So I noticed we rode uh, for a couple hours out there and uh, only lost one um, notch in the battery. So uh, the battery size on these Husqvarna's are good too. Yeah, I took uh, the Intense out for the camera guy that's behind the camera right here. And the, actually, we're down to like two bars. So it did use a lot. This stuff, um, for me, when you use it, uh, like you said, two hours, and we still had three to four bars. So. Yep, yep, so the battery size is a little bit bigger. The EP8 motor is great. I didn't like the brakes as much. I think that's more just a personal adjustment. I like my brakes really sensitive. I run some different pads, so I felt like these brakes came into my fingers a little bit too much uh, on the SRAM, uh, on this hard cross, I SRAM stuff. Uh, but, yeah, uh, again, the seat was really comfy. The motor is fantastic. I like the bigger travel. If you're an average guy like me, he's an elitist. He talks a lot about me being this way on dirt bikes, but he's – picking out stuff that I don't even notice. So if you're a normal guy picking up the bike, the, the brakes feel the same to me. I, I really like the fact we, we, we tested the Yamaha a little while ago. Blue Crew is in, on the e-bike uh, world. Husqvarna's got this. Gas Gas is coming out with an e-bike. I think this is pretty cool. The whole little, you know, no matter what you ride, almost no matter what you ride on the, uh, on the dirt bike side, you can get an e-bike to match. Or it seems like manufacturers are doing that. They're embracing e-bikes. Of course, GNCC series you can ride it. You can race an e-bike on the neck the day before, so it's really cool. Yeah, if you're brand loyal, I think that's pretty nice. Like you're loading up in the the back of your van or your truck, and you you put up a FC 450, and you put up one of these, you know, HC sevens in there. I think it's kind of cool. And you, you go to your your local dealership, you buy your motorcycle, you find the the e-bike dealership, you get this. And uh, to me, it's more uniform. It has a good look, and uh, you can always count on Husqvarna quality. A lot of people talk about the dirt bike side about how reliable they are. I think for me. Um, this bike is well built and for six grand that's fairly inexpensive for an e-bike right yeah the prices are right in line uh with a lot of the e-bikes if not a little bit cheaper now you're getting aluminum frame with these not carbon so you pay a little bit more for some of the models that have all carbon and again aluminum a little heavier but some would say hey you're riding an e-bike what does it matter you know what i mean so there's a whole debate about that so but the prices are in range and uh, uh yeah it's really cool to see the the oems embracing e-bikes a fun time was had by all today
Yeah, I had a good time. It's uh, nice to get out with you on an e-bike in your realm. He's a little bit more happier. He's happier when he's on an e-bike versus a dirt bike. So overall, good day. I'm ready to go eat now. Uh, thanks, Husqvarna. And uh, if you guys want to check him out, you can check out your local Husqvarna e-bike dealer. And those are up there right now, right? Yeah, it's a great time. Thanks to Husqvarna. Thanks to Bro Show. Thank you, Racer X. Thanks for watching this. Uh, thanks to Spence. And uh, get an e-bike, everybody. It solves your life's problems.